Welcome to Microsoft Access Expert Level 16, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Ross. Today's class continues our in-depth study of action queries. We've already learned how to build update queries, append queries, and delete queries. So in the first lesson today, we're going to make a macro to run multiple queries at once. We'll make a single button that you'll click on to archive old contacts in the system. It will run an append query to copy those old records to a backup table, an archive table. Then it will delete them out of the primary contact table. And we'll learn how to set warnings to off so that access doesn't bother you with all those prompts. Next, we'll learn how to use delete queries with multiple tables, where you want to delete records in one table with criteria based on a value in a different table. For example, let's say you're not doing business in a state like California anymore. You want to delete all of the contacts from the customers who live in California, but you still want to keep the customer record. So you're deleting values from the contacts table based on a value in the customer table. Next, we're going to learn about the fourth type of action query, make table queries. A make table query is used to make a table, to create a brand new table. We will use a make table query to back up our customer records. Anytime you want to make a change to the customer table or the data in the customer table, you can just click a button and it will automatically make a backup copy that you can have in the current database or in a backup database somewhere else. I'll show you how to do that. We will then use our knowledge of make table queries and append queries to handle a common problem that people ask me how to deal with. This is the multiple parents for a child mailing list problem. Let's say you have a list of students and you've got two parents listed on the student record, parent one, parent two. Perhaps they don't live together. So you want to be able to send mailings to both of them, but doing so is very difficult. In this lesson, I'll show you a technique, actually two techniques, to deal with that problem. And finally, we're going to learn about union queries. Union queries let you merge the results from two or more tables or two or more queries to look like a single query. For example, earlier we pulled apart our contacts table, so we have all the old contacts in an archive table somewhere else. With a union query, we can temporarily put them back together so you can search through all the contacts. This class follows Access Expert levels 13 through 15. In 13 through 15, I cover the other types of action queries, update, append, and delete queries. And I strongly recommend you learn how to work those before continuing on with today's lessons. This class was recorded using Access 2013. All the lessons should work just fine with 2007 or 2010. If you're using Access 2003 or earlier, you want to go to my website and get the Access 220 to 223 lessons. Those cover action queries for the older versions of Access. My courses are broken up into beginner, expert, advanced, and developer level classes. Beginner level classes are for novices. You should understand all the topics covered in them by the time you get to the expert level classes, which you're in now. When you finish all of the expert level classes, the advanced classes will cover event programming and macros, and the developer classes will cover Visual Basic for applications. Each group of classes is broken down into multiple levels, level 1, 2, 3, and so on. In addition to my normal access classes, I also have seminars designed to teach specific topics. Some of my seminars include building web-based databases, creating forms and reports that look like calendars, securing your database, working with images and attachments, writing work orders and running a service business, tracking accounts payable, learning the SQL programming language, creating loan amortization schedules, and lots more. You can find details on all of these seminars and more on my website at accesslearningzone.com. If you have questions about the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post them in my student forums. If you're watching this course in the online theater on my website, you should see the student forum for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class video. 
Here, you will see all of the questions that other students have asked, as well as my responses to them, and comments that other students have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson, and feel free to join in the discussion. If you are not watching these lessons on my website, you can still visit the student forums later by visiting accesslearningzone.com slash forums. To get the most out of this course, I recommend you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then, replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples. Actually create the same database that I make in the video step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample database from class. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning or tell me what's wrong in the student forum and I'll do my best to help you. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Access may seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use. Now I strongly encourage you to build the database that I build in today's class by following along with the videos. However, if you would like to download a sample copy of my finished database file, you can find it on my website at accesslearningzone.com slash databases. Sometimes if you get stuck, the easiest way to learn is to tear apart someone else's database. One of the ways that I taught myself access years ago was by tearing apart the Northwind Traders database that comes with Microsoft Access. You'll find there's a sample database for each of my courses on my website. Now let's take a few minutes and go over exactly what we're going to cover in today's class. In the last class, Access Expert 15, we created a couple of queries to archive old contacts from our contact table to a contact archive table. In lesson one, we're going to go over the homework from that class, which was to create a single button that runs both of those queries and disables the warning messages. In lesson two, we're going to discuss the proper technique for running a delete query involving multiple tables, where the records that you want to delete are based on a criteria from another table. In lesson three, we're going to learn about make table queries, as we can set up a query to create a new table based on other data. In lesson four, we're going to set up a multiple parent mailing list. What does that mean? Well, we have a single student table where you've got the student's first name and last name, but then you've got two parents in the same record, parent one, parent two. We need to be able to sometimes send multiple mailings out so that each parent, who might not live together, gets separate mailings. So how do we set that up properly in our database so we can create that mailing list? In lesson five, we're going to learn about union queries, which allow you to take two or more tables or other queries and put them together so it looks like one set of records, one query.